right here I'm gonna be showing you some pics and videos of me building my hatchback to lead up to the point of the next track day so here's just a mixture of like all the stuff that I did to the car just to get it prepped and ready to race um, so enjoy Here's a 98 GSR harness that I picked up. Uh, had a couple shorts in it, so I went through the entire harness and repaired all the shorts and soldered all the connections and wrapped it up with conduit tape. The harness is from a 98 Integra and my motor is from a 96 Integra. Since they're both OBD2A harnesses, they can work. Picked up a Spoon Sports flywheel, so let's see the differences in weight. So the stock ITR flywheel weighs just over 15 pounds, and then the Spoon flywheel weighs about nine pounds. So I'm cutting about six pounds or so, six and a half pounds. So the ITR swap weighs about 392 pounds and the single cam swap weighed about 323 pounds. So I'm actually adding about a little over 69 pounds. Right here I'm just torquing down the flywheel bolts, making sure everything is torqued evenly and to spec. King Kong truck tearing up the street a mile away. You can hear it when I pull up. You can tell by my car, got a drug dealer spirit. If I can turn the wheel with one finger, I'll stare it. Automatic spaceships, and I don't need no lead jets. I pilot the Impala and scroll through the projects. Gold on my neck, that's a code of respect. Stock everything out, that's how we roll in my set. Chevelle the Corvette, big blocks on the inside. Rest in peace to my homie Big Fry. He taught me how to tip, crank the sounds, and then ride. Spaceship travelers. I was able to pick up a stage three clutch, I think it is, where it's got a four puck disc. It still has springs in it, so it's not too aggressive when you release the clutch. And it dampens some vibrations or whatnot. So right here I'm just aligning the clutch and getting ready to torque it down to spec. Got 
In the meantime, I was able to uh, remove my trailing arms and uh, press out the bushings and get it ready for powder coating before I put the brand new polyurethane bushings on there. I'm off in that Medina when I'm done. This song me alone. Bitch, top drop like my degrad beats being thrown. Francesca, use a mess, girl. Carry on. Call smelling like a pound when I pull up at the Avalon. Pull your own weight. I don't have no time for tag along. Don't know what you yet before I'm stacking, dog. Catalog my closet. My belts, my watches. Cell phone in my pocket. My Blackberry Biatches. Have them ready. i watch and Daddy back. Niggas plotting on the jets, but we got them. We just waiting to drop them. They vex because we going in is the itr swap so here's just a little time lapse of it me dropping it in Chain, now I got six. six. The one I really like Pac, now it's on my wrist. Whoa. Living a life niggas told me was a myth. myth. Same niggas trying to get up on my list. What? Since I started buzzing, I got 18, 11 cousins. New bitches trying to join the team and old ones that I'm cussing. Got high class living, but a nigga still grinding. Cause I'm surrounded with the same niggas and girls since I have nothing. I, I, I got signs to my idol, to my idol. See some of my favorite rappers turn rivals. Turn rivals. Yeah, told me kill them so a nigga. I was able to pick up uh, all new bushings and grommets to rebuild my shifter. I picked up a fast line shifter, the extended version, with a 45 degree angle bend in it. Also picked up a hybrid racing shift knob um, to go along with the fast line shifter. So everything is installed with the Savelt harnesses. Hopefully this stops me from all that body roll. So we're gonna throw this lip on to the EG front bumper, but first we gotta cut some tabs out right here. We gotta cut some holes, drill it out, but let's just see how everything works. So let's open the box to... Shout out to Devin. Shout out to Devin from Dev Sports. I don't know if his name is really Devin, but Dev Sports sounds like Devin, so what up, man? Right, let's cut this open. Right here. 
use the edge liner to go all around right here so scrape at least it'll have some type of protection. Keep your hell up like that. It don't mean nothing Word. but one thing. Big L, big L, big L, big L, rest in peace. So this hood wouldn't fit on the car when I did the engine swap. So I think the scoop is for a single cam engine, probably sits lower. So I just cut it out. The stock hood weighs just about 30 pounds. The carbon fiber hood weighs about 17 pounds. OEM trunk about 17 pounds. Carbon fiber trunk weighs a little over 11 pounds. Now this is with the inner tail light still. Stock wing about four and a half pounds. Carbon fiber wing about three and a half pounds. Now the rear seats weighed about 31 and a half pounds. That was the biggest weight reduction surprisingly. I didn't think they would be that heavy. The carpet and headliner combined weighed about 15 pounds. So I added everything up and I'm actually only saving about 15, a little over 15 pounds, um, but I actually gained about 77 horsepower just because I did the swap. I went from a single cam to a B18C type R motor. Um, I could have went turbo on my single cam and could have got that 77 horsepower that way, but it's just preference. I like the way the B18C5 sounds, um, NA. Um, I like the feel of it. And it's just a classic motor, you know? So that's why it's just preference. Whatever you prefer, you can go either way. Shout out to my boy Memo. Hopefully he can get this thing ready so he can join me out on the track. I can't wait till I'm done assembling my twin turbo VG30 GETT. And I'll be able to keep up with Memo over here. Let's <laughs> try to start this thing up. Everything looks good. Everything's connected. Batteries on. Clamps on. Hose clamps. This is my tiger style, the type of style that is kind of wild. I make you think of better times when you might have smiled. The type of child with the fangs and the claws out, we all out. I come for your crew, watch who you call out. Cover your neck, whoever falls, you with kids. found one of the hose clamps for the fuel not tight enough so had to shut it off real quick and tighten up that hose clamp 
Got some of these safety goggles. Got a set of wire brushes. Got a mirror for other tasks. Pick up this welding blanket. Set of these sanding wheels that can go straight to my drill. I was just gonna use my regular gloves that I have, some other leather gloves, but these are five bucks. So, couldn't go wrong with this. Got some good insulation inside. Picked up another set of wire wheels. Magnets. Paint marker, that was cheap. And a telescopic magnet, because you know, you'll be looking for your 10 millimeter all day if you don't got that. Oh, got a set of tips, welding tips. And that's the welder that I picked up, Harbor Freight welder. Also picked up this cutoff wheel, a welding helmet, this face shield. Cause I'm gonna be welding this pretty much exhaust. Putting all this on, this car, it's all two and a half inch and then I'm going straight to soon after that. Had to cut in and extend some of the piping to make it work. Right here you can see me mocking up the piping with the jack stand. Picked up a couple flanges and decided to get to work. Now this is my first time ever welding so uh, <laughs> take it easy on my welds alright. I know my welds ain't Instagram pretty but shit it got the job done. No leaks and looks like I'll be ready to tune very soon. Meanwhile, on my lunch break, one of the techs decides to call everybody out in a lunge battle across the whole shop. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Four hours later. So baseline tuning, we started off with 177 horsepower. Then after that, we tried again and we actually ran into some issues. You can see right here, once we accelerated, the intake broke apart and got sucked in 
to the throttle chamber and actually block the throttle chamber.